up guys dean with another episode of full circle weekly uh, i figured since mike did it i could do it too uh so yeah you know sometimes it's not the best in uh business or when you're a entrepreneur as they say but as a business owner sometimes it's not as fun as other times um right now is one of those times where not very fun at all for me honestly i try and keep a really good outlook for my guys and everything but right now is one of those times where i just got to push through and i can do it it's fine i don't like i'm i'm fine to do it but basically customers yelling at me because we're behind schedule for landscaping getting crapped to complaints because our, our lawn mowing division is not up to par yet this week actually i think it got 100 percent better and then one of the employees who's on the lawn mowing thing is having uh it's just not feeling well today which is which is totally fine i mean you're allowed to not feel well it's but the problem is it's just putting us behind even more for lawn mowing and then uh sadly we also have currently um not enough people even though someone is starting next week which is going to be a huge help as far as not being as behind in the schedule so it's it's kind of like uh just a pretty tough time right now for sure a lot of we've lost a ton of clients this year due to for a lot of lawn mowing clients uh no really good clients yet which is huge but we've lost a couple uh a couple of clients that weren't happy with service they had every right not to be happy the service was not good for them the actual quality of it um my landscaping guys are not happy because they're not able to hit the budgeted hours because the budgeted hours are not reasonable and guess who made the budgeted hours this guy did so their budgeted hours are not correct because i gave them the wrong hours what can i do about that nothing and the problem is we're booked out a couple weeks so the lag time between when i make a change and start bidding jobs higher and the time that they start seeing it is a couple weeks so i don't know they want me on jobs more so they can i can train them because they're both pretty new but i can't be on jobs more because I'm in the office full time. I don't even have enough time to do my office work in a day. I didn't get back to any emails or any phone calls yesterday night. It was like, finally finished up at like, all right, I finally like finished up what I was doing, which was like emailing a couple suppliers back for my personal email and then um, grinding a stump last night because the crew couldn't get to it, but it needed to get done. Um, and then we finally just went to, uh, finally just um i don't know i got a shower and i went back and kept working and then i fell asleep at my desk so it's one of those times when i just try and have so much energy and be excited and energetic about everything and it's just not going good right now it's kind of crappy to say because everyone else is doing great in our area or at least it seems like it but we're having a really tough time and um what am i to do right there's nothing I can do. You just got to roll with the punches. Um, I really want to get the landscape. I think top priorities right now are going to be to... Uh, I've got an estimate in like 45 minutes. So I'm just going to kind of go to the office. Bang out all the calls I got yesterday, the emails. And then uh, probably go do like six or seven estimates. Because I have one and then I have a bunch of drive-bys I have to do. And for like landscaping and everything. Uh, I got to send out. I did two last night that I had to send out also. And then, um, yeah, it's, uh, I understand why people go back to solo. I refuse to, refuse to, um, I think our, our long care people are really starting to get it. The problem is that their days are really long right now. Um, just because they wanted to leave early yesterday and the day before that. So Thursday, Friday are both going to be long ass days. So I, uh, I don't know what to do with that. I just have to take it at face value, kind of, and say, damn, they're going to be tired. Damn, the routes are going to be tough, and they're probably going to go over into Saturday, which is, like, you know, not ideal, cause especially because they're switching to five-day weeks next week. But, I mean, they kind of brought that on themselves. I'm not, I don't feel too terribly about that, but um, it's just another thing, right? So, um, I don't know. It's uh, it's tough right now. I understand, like I said, I understand why people go back to solo. I refuse to do that. But um, I don't know. I think 
hiring an office assistant is going to be huge in that uh, in that they'll be able to take care of the phone calls and emails and stuff and I just got to get them trained up as fast as possible and it's going to be tough because I don't even have an office right now because my realtor is in Mexico I kid you not my commercial realtor is in Mexico so what am I to do right what am I even to do but that being said I have an interview with a good office candidate today Hopefully I can get caught up on all of my today list for to doing, and um, hopefully get our cash flow a little better. We have like nine thousand dollars in cash out right now, which at our size business is a lot of cash out right now, for sure. So that needs to be in, <laughs> but it's out. Uh, so I have to make those calls, and um, it's just tough for sure. I'm not feeling great about it, but. What am I going to do? Like, what am I going to do? I don't know. I, I do know, actually. What I'm going to do is uh, keep just keep grinding. Uh, I stopped watching YouTube pretty much altogether. I deleted YouTube app. I, I deleted YouTube app during the day now. I do download it at night again sometimes, but I, I've been deleting it during the day just so I can get more work done and not be get sucked into it or, like, be tempted to, like, listen to it instead of working. Because I listen to, like, a lot of podcasts and stuff. I don't watch, like, funny cat videos. I watch, like, podcasts. But I uh, feel a little low energy this week. I haven't been working out because I've been so busy. And my workout buddy isn't here. So, you know, then it's like, oh, well, you know, you're not working out. So you might as well not. And then you don't feel, like, good to eat right. So, I mean, not that I'm not eating terribly. But I'm just not eating as good as I could be. So, I don't know. Tonight we're definitely going to hit the gym for sure and today I'm just gonna eat just force myself to eat healthy uh and I'm probably just gonna have <laughs> some espresso coffee beans or a Red Bull not that I need caffeine but in case you guys haven't noticed I'm not feeling energized today so yeah I just wanna let you know that there are some tough times in business and uh we all have them and you just gotta push through uh I don't mean to bring you somber content but uh, I want future Dean to watch this and go, oh, hey, you know, life goes tough sometimes. So, uh, yep, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.